what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i've updated you guys on everything so sorry about that but right now it's 10 a.m and i am supposed to start work right now actually i just came back from the gym and i had such a good shoulder session today but yeah today is actually a friday and it's going to be a busy ass day for work but I thought that in this video, I would just kind of recap what's been going on and update you guys on everything um, that has to do with prep. A lot has actually happened during the past week and I actually haven't gotten the time to pick up my camera and talk about it yet, but I will make sure to do that in this video so that you're all caught up. But right now, I just have a bunch of things to get done for work, so I'm gonna quickly shower, get ready, get dressed, and I will kind of update you guys later in this video. So I basically have like a bunch of client meetings today, and I'm supposed to like dress well and like look presentable, but if this isn't the most work from home <laughs> thing you've ever seen, then I don't know. Oh my god, like, you know when you just like look good on the top but at the bottom it's literally just like pajama pants? Yeah, a whole ass mood right now but I'm quite nervous for this client call but we got this, we got this. Okay, so I'm finally back in some comfortable clothes. It's honestly been so busy and I just finally got to like sit down and kind of breathe. But anyways, where do I start? Basically, show has been canceled. I was supposed to step on stage tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> That's just it. Um, am I surprised? No, I already like saw this coming ever since this lockdown, you know. Um, nothing's really open yet at all. Um, gyms are still closed, but of course I go to a private gym like I mentioned before in my previous vlog. So that's just like been saving me and I'm so, so grateful um, to have a space to train during this time. Um, right now, I think there's about like 22,000 cases a day and it is so like, it's actually a living nightmare to just see those numbers go up and like see how many people are actually like struggling and like dying from this but yeah in terms of like the show being cancelled I'm not even like too disappointed um, about that because I understand like there's worse things going on you know like so yeah I'm more worried about the state of my country rather than my show so yeah, I won't be stepping on stage tomorrow and that means that prep has finally come to an end. Um, it is unfortunate that I'm not able to, you know, finally show off my package, but I think this entire experience has been um, a learning lesson for me. I'm so, so grateful for it. Like, I loved every moment of it. It's honestly made me grow so, so much. Um, physically and mentally and it's the best thing that I've ever done so you know after this experience like after going through an entire prep because I did I just didn't go through peak week that that that's all um, it made me realize just like how much I love this sport and how much I want to continue doing this sport and you know just to celebrate the fact that I successfully went through prep I'm going to insert some videos of me like trying on my bikini of course without the tan without the full glam but this was what my physique looked like So basically my next plans is just that because um, there are no further confirmation on the dates of any other shows this year, I just decided that 
it would be in my best interest to kind of just like pull out of prep rather than just kind of like keep it going and maintaining that level of leanness and uncertainty you know it's just not healthy to stay that lean because yeah being stage lean is not supposed to be sustainable um i'm doing a reverse diet right now because obviously you don't want to jump straight into your um, initial maintenance calories so to prevent from rebounding um and also not to gain an excess amount of weight so quickly um i'm just slowly building up my calories again and my coach is helping me do that i'm putting as much effort into it as much as i uh, i did with my prep so every meal i weigh everything to a t still i'm making sure i'm training hard in the gym and progressing with the weights um that i'm getting stronger with every lift so yeah i think this is really really important when you start entering your improvement season because you know your next package that you bring what whenever it is that i'll step on stage again probably next year um this is going to play a huge role on what i'll actually look like then and i hope to be able to bring a really really good package you know a much better version of myself that is the next goal so yeah right now we've just increased carbs by a bit cardio is kind of like the same for now but um, I think it will decrease by a lot next week. So I cannot wait to see what's in my plan next week. But for now, this is just like the first week of reverse dieting. So off season we go. Good morning. It is now the next day. It is a Saturday today, August 14th. And I woke up weighed myself so this is like one almost one full week of like reverse dieting i started on monday and it turns out that i lost a kilo <laughs> um i'm honestly shook and i definitely will have to tell my coach and i hope that this means that she will like taper off cardio um reduce it by like half next week or increase food or do both but yeah, other than that, I thought I might just take you through my day. Today is a Saturday, which means it is an intuitive day. Intuitive eating day for me. Oh my god, my, like, I can't even speak anymore. But yeah, we'll be essentially um, celebrating Mother's Day today with a, like a really nice dinner with the family at home because actually Thai Mother's Day was on August 12th, so like two days ago, but it was a weekday and we just moved it um, to Saturday because better vibes on Saturday and we'll be having pizza today from this new place we haven't tried before it's called DDC pizza and I'm honestly like so excited for it and for dessert today I decided that I will be making some healthy apple crisp for the first time so yeah let's see how that goes tonight <laughs> hopefully it's not a fail but I will catch you guys later and yeah. So just wanted to do a little physique check because I'm like at my leanest and I just want to document this just for the memories, you know, and I want to see like how much I'll be able to like grow from this. So this is what I'm currently looking like at 41.3 kilos. So for lunch today, I'm just keeping my meals quite simple again. So this is just some um, steamed collard greens and bok choy and some grilled chicken. So basically on days where I know that I'll be having a lot more carbs during dinner, I try to like cut my carbs during the day. This is obviously like not necessary, but I just feel um, better doing that. And I just want to leave my carbs um, for the end of the day 
like today I know I'm having pizza so I just decreased the carbs from like my lunch and I'll be able to eat more while staying relatively like in a good range of calories forgot to tell you that I'm also having some egg whites with a little bit of ketchup <laughs> so I just came back from the grocery stores and I got a bunch of things for the next week for my meal prep so I thought I might as well just like show you again like what I got so these are all the stuff that I got um, so for the veggies again I got the collard greens and I got um, some bok choy here then I got some chicken breast um, tuna and spring water then I just felt like having some mushrooms this week with my vegetable stir fry so I'm gonna add some mushrooms in that. I think these are shiitake mushrooms. Then we got here egg whites. Can't live without it. And these here are the ingredients that I needed for the apple crisp. So I got some rolled oats, um, some apples, a little bit of applesauce. And apparently you can like make so many low calorie desserts and use applesauce as like a low calorie sweetener. Um, so I'm gonna be trying that out like when I try making more recipes. And um, I got some spices, Cajun, and some ground nutmeg. Cinnamon I already have because I eat cinnamon all the time. Also, if you see right here, I decided to invest in an air fryer. Um, it's not really an investment. <laughs> like I feel like everyone just has an air fryer nowadays and I feel like I'm missing out on all the healthy air fryer recipes. So I decided to get one and I just can't wait to try out like so many air fryer recipes like desserts. I think there's like oat cookies. You can make baked oats in there as well. But yeah, there's a bunch of things that you can do. So once I figure out how to like use this and actually make really good recipes, I might as well just share some if they're good. <laughs> so yeah. And now I'm making the apple crisp. So I got the recipe over here and this is basically the base. And I just made the crisp layer, it goes on top. Now it's ready to go in the oven. I'm so excited to see how it's going to turn out, honestly. So I'm finally done with everything and now we're just waiting for the pizza. Um, my sister and her fiance are bringing it over. I'm honestly like not that hungry yet, but you know, I'm still excited to eat because pizza. The pizza is here. Wow. Mother's Day dinner. Um, it was so good. Like literally everything. I preferred the pizza with the parma ham on top. That was amazing. Like um, it was a tomato base with some parma ham. It had some goat cheese, balsamic glaze, some Parmesan crumbles, which really like adds really good flavor to it and there was also pesto on it So it was a bunch of stuff and yeah, it was amazing and Yeah, I had a lot of cold cuts with cheese and crackers drizzled honey and had some raspberry jam on them Such a good combination and for dessert. Yeah, I made the healthy apple crisp um, I had that with some low calorie ice cream that I had um, 
which was in like the Madagascar vanilla flavor. My parents have them with haagen vanilla. So the one that I showed just now was my mom's with the haagen Um I didn't show mine because I just felt like it didn't look presentable <laughs> and yeah I'm sorry like when I was eating I had to like crouch down because like I forgot to bring like a stand to put my camera on and I was like okay my hands are like so dirty with pizza so I'm just gonna do whatever so I was literally like kneeling on the floor but yeah I think this is going to mark the end of my vlog I really enjoyed eating food today um you know just savoring every meal if you guys like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next vlog don't know what it's gonna be about but we'll see bye